joining us on the spooky day we're so glad to have you here i'm sandy o from emma's revolution and i'm pat humphreys thanks so much for joining us and to those of you on the whatever the name of it um who cares uh meta book net, network face verse um, yeah something like <clears throat> that um hold on let's just make sure we have what we wanted oh i kind of was trying to spotlight us but what's going on <laughs> hold on it's it's all the ghouls in the uh, there we go in the goblins yes and folks who are going to be watching world. folks who are going to be watching on YouTube live later uh, YouTube live YouTube later we welcome you here too so we're really thrilled um, we're getting near the end of the year uh, obviously this this year of 2021 and we've been so thrilled to have these concerts with fabulous songwriter friends um, joining us and we have another one of those for you today. We like to kick things off on these concerts and um, with the song. And before we do that, I just want to remind you and let you know that this is a concert. So we encourage you to make a contribution. And the contributions you make today, wow, something's up. Hold on. <laughs> Chrome is overriding. <laughs> yeah. Chrome is taking, yeah, OK. So I invite you to make a contribution. The contributions you make today will be shared among all of these artists. And our fab tech team is going to be doing something really beautiful for us. And they're going to be posting everything that we need in the chat here on Zoom and also on the comments there on Facebook. So you'll see a chat where you can contribute. You'll also get the links for these fabulous artists who are joining us. Okay, it's Halloween. There is no need to dress up because life is kind of scary right there's like a lot of scary things let me tell you two of the things i find scary right now first of all the potential outcome of the gubernatorial election in virginia so virginiaites we need you to get out there and vote yeah for terry mcauliffe um i think that's obvious but uh, let me just say that the other thing i find really scary is that there are going to be many many more months where we are going to hear these two names repeated 
And I'm really quite tired of hearing these two <laughs> names repeated. And I think you know which two names they are. Say it with me. Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin. Yes. Would they just please get out of the way um, and do, you know, they're holding up the things that the rest of us want in the country. The other thing that some people find scary are banjos. <laughs> we do not find banjos scary. And so we're going to kick off this concert with a banjo song. Clearly, I'm a threat. <laughs> Though I, I do want, I wanted to say this. I know Sandy had her, her great line to lead into, but I, I've been thinking a lot uh, ab about the fact that this is the time when the veil between the worlds is the thinnest. And actually, we ended up having my mother's memorial service on Halloween in 1998 when she, when she passed. Um, and she came to me the night before which was a really amazing thing, and I'll tell you the story later. Uh, but I've also been thinking about our, our dear friend, Anne Feeney, and one of the lines that she quoted frequently uh, was from uh, Eugene Debs, and he said, while there is a lower class, I am in it. While there is a criminal element, I am of it. While there is a soul in prison, I am not free. And I've always loved that, and that Anne has been coming to my mind and my heart a lot lately as uh, has my mom so um, so that this is the time when uh, when our loved ones will take that opportunity uh, potentially to visit us so uh, welcome them and uh, give them your love I will be doing so on my my side of the veil so and uh, to Pete who is now on that side of the veil this was my uh, my sort of love song to his influence on me and on his way out. So. When I was four, I had a toy made of plastic and of joy, a magic musical machine from a drum, a stick and strings. I didn't know as I would play I lived to meet the man one day Playing songs that shaped my life And taught the world to sing Oh, hear the banjo Onto a trolley car, alone and wondering. The grove was full when I got there. People came from everywhere. I climbed a redwood by the stage to watch the reveling. Thank you. 
night I felt a spark in me ignite But I would trade it all today To hear your banjo ring Oh, hear the banjo ring Hear the people sing Oh, changes everything Sing, people sing Do that again so much and thanks for Thank singing you. along yeah we love that so we're, we're so thrilled i mean we only bring you our favorite people on the planet to come and <laughs> and share uh, these concerts with us and so our first favorite person of the day is an amazing singer songwriter uh, we met him back when he was based in boston and not only was he based in boston but he would write songs about particularly boston things like rotaries and for folks who haven't <laughs> been to boston uh, that's a thing where there's just like no traffic light, no stop sign, and everybody's going around, around, around. Um, and that's where I first heard you uh, in, back in your earlier rock and roll kind of days. Um, but this fabulous artist, not only does he write beautiful songs and have a gorgeous voice and, and plays really amazing guitar parts, but he's really put his experience and who he is on the line for justice. And he has created a duo of a, a program that's a duo with Reggie Harris. And many of you have met Reggie here on our program and hopefully you've heard his, his music everywhere else. And they've brought their personal stories together along with their music to create racial justice in a time of intense, this time, this time of intense. Apparently we're playing in the background. I hope it's not me. It's, a, it's another uh, ghost in the system. Yeah, we have gremlins today. Yeah. Not so surprising, I guess. But we'll figure that out. Anyway, <laughs> let me bring to your screen and the stage here today our friend Greg Greenway. Please welcome Greg. Right. Hey, Greg, nice to see you. Hey, love. Okay. Can you hear me now? Am we I can. <laughs> Without okay, us good. in the background, which is great. Good. Oh, that's, well, <laughs> hey. You guys have some of my most treasured moments have been me singing with you guys in the background singing. Uh, oh my I was going to say that. We love singing with you. Yeah. Oh man, it's always just astounding. <laughs> so thanks for being here. This is this is folks' chance to fall in love with you and they're going to meet you next week teaching a song too. Um, right. So for folks who haven't heard Greg, please enjoy. All right. Well, since we're going, we're speaking to people on the other side of the veil, I would like to speak to Rosa Parks. I grew up in Richmond, Virginia, where the statues have finally come down. This is a song about what was handed me and what I could finally get past. Goodbye, Rosa. The year has changed. The one when you left us. The one you became. The ones who remember. Remember your name. Day you would not be moved. How many tumblers fell into place? How many Sundays just had to wait? How many lifetimes waited away? big, strong, and threatening it might not be the case like thousands before you blurred and erased but you were small and defenseless the face of grace the moment came down to you I can't 
can't take no more, won't take no more, can't take no more, won't take no more, can't take no more, won't take no more. Goodbye, Rosa. The year has changed. The one when you left us, the one you became, the ones who remember, remember your name. And the day you would not be moved. that this happened was 55 I'd been born in Virginia barely arrived in the bundle my father's handed me to their surprise were the ears to hear you I can't take no more I won't take no more I can't take no more I won't take no more take no more I won't take no more Goodbye, Rosa. The year has changed. The one when you left us, the one you became, the ones who remember, remember your name. And the day you would not be moved. over here you know all your favorite kind of dissonant ones yeah we got to do that together <laughs> that is a beautiful song thank you greg you're thanks welcome. yeah and thanks for making it through whatever tech you had to do and um to make it you sound great and we're we're thrilled that you're here yeah thank you thank you all right well we want to bring up our next guest today also a favorite human of ours and folks met her last week teaching her song um the battle, oh shoot, battle will be won, something like that. Gosh, I'm getting the wrong term. But in any case, she's a fabulous singer and a songwriter and a song leader and leads a beautiful online choir and singing group um, these days. And you may have heard her. She was part of the touring group for that incredible group, uh, Sweet Honey in the Rock. And please, oh goodness, why can't I find her face? Please help us welcome Arne Batson. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'm caught up, Greg. I'm seriously <laughs> caught up. The sound. Dude, we got to talk. We gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> but the song, so beautiful. I was singing it too. Um, so, wow. Um, I know. We're going to have to have a bi-coastal thing. We'll bring Greg out here and, and we'll uh, come down to you. And yeah. Most deaf. Most deaf. So, so Arne, this is you and this is you on, on Halloween. Um, oh, that's so, right. A ask me who I'm being. Ask me okay. who I'm being. Who are you being? I am being me <laughs> at various stages in my life. Oh. And I'll start with the top. This is a gay leg. And um, I was probably around 11 years old when um, a woman from my church, Mrs. L. Nora Ham, took a trip to Africa. And that was a big thing at the time. And she came back with all this incredible fabric and she knew how to wrap heads. And so our minister, who was very progressive, um, he had a special Saturday heritage day where we could come in. And we looked at all the garments that she bought and, you know, and she tied our hair. She tied, um, she tied the gay lace on our heads. 
and I remember watching the other girls, and I was waiting for, for me, and then it was when she just started rapping, mm -hmm. my whole body, I remember, just standing up. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I was just more alert, more erect. And so it was this whole, you know, pride of self, you know, pride of culture, you know, the whole red, black, and green. Um, and then our minister topped it off with playing, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. In <laughs> church. <laughs> it's In perfect. church. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but it was, it was just, again, and, and we all know what pride of self, what that means. We, we know what we understand what that means, the importance of it. Mm. And so um, this is what the head wrap represents with the, you know, it's not as high because I got headphones on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, and then the jewelry uh, came from a uh, December 2019 trip I took to South Africa, which, as I mentioned, it seems like it was 10 zillion light years away. Uh, just <laughs> this really did happen, you know. And the glasses are, you know, from my Sly Stone era when I nice. was <laughs> doing all my yeah. little stuff. So I'm thanking you all for letting me be myself again. Woo! Woo! And <laughs> I'm just so happy, happy, happy to be here. Thank you so much for the invitation. Right on. And thank you. Um, folks are saying that maybe we should have you turn up your volume a little bit. So it's clear for some folks. It's a little soft for other folks. Folks are saying there's Zoom issues today, and we've certainly been having our own. Okay, how is this? Is this better? That might be better. Sounds okay. good here. How about yeah. for other folks? Clear but quiet. Okay. All righty. All right. All right. Thanks, y'all. Uh, take it away, Arne. Okay, well, I want to thank the tech team um, for being here. And um, as always, y'all know I love old hymns. I'm a church girl. So I'm bringing in the spirit in the room um, and particularly honoring Mrs. Jepsy Fuller. She was a power soprano in our church. And so this song is called Love is the Light of the World. And um, we sang it as Jesus, the light of the world. But I have readapted it for the modern times that we live in. So it's in C. And so I'll just, I'll do the course with you really quick. Walk in the light, beauty the light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Love is the light of the world. Okay, so we're gonna sing it now. Me, me, me. Here we go. And jump in when you feel like it. Walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Love is the light of the world. Walk in the light, beautiful light. Beautiful light. Come where. Drops of mercy shining bright, shine all around us by day and by night. Love is the light of the world. Listen, good people, as we proclaim, love is the light of the world. Kindness and mercy is yours to claim. Enjoy as a 
Oh. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, Thank you for taking us to church on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. All right. Thank you so much, our Oh, name. my gosh. Love it. Mm. All right. Wow. Yeah, I saw Ooh. on Facebook, Carolyn <laughs> wrote, uh, you do invite the best. She was loving Greg's song and so excited to hear RNA's shining song now. Yes. So we do really love bringing you these folks who we are honored to say are our friends. Um, they're so talented and such loving, powerful people, too. So we're doing a concert for you today. We do invite you, if you have the means, to make a contribution to help support these artists. Uh, your contributions will be shared among all the artists, and this is how we're making our living um, these days. Yes, there are some concerts in person. Yes, not everybody's doing that uh, yet. So, you know, it's a hybrid world. So there are some links in the Zoom chat and also in your Facebook comments. Thanks to our amazing team uh, for posting everything there so that you can keep up with us. We thought we would um, stick with the scary theme. And also <clears throat> because our president is going to the COP 20, I think it's 26 or something like that, some long number that where we should have solved climate change issues long ago, uh, but we haven't yet. But at least he's there, not like the last guy who refused to go. And you know that story. So we're going to sing a song that we wrote when we were demonstrating outside the White House back in the before times. Um, and the chorus and the part for you to sing is inspired by the words of Greta Thunberg, who is the young Swedish climate activist, who said, I need you to act like your house is on fire because it is. So you'll sing, put out the fire. Oops, I'll hit the chord right. <laughs> put out the fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire. We love you. We hear you. We commit to change our ways. Not later, but sooner. House is on fire for our children. Put out the fire. I'm their children. Put out the fire. I'm their children. Put out the fire. Our house is on fire. They call for songbirds, for clean air, for the oceans and the bays. Not later, but soon. on fire shrinking shoreline put out the fire sinking island put out the fire growing dry land put out the fire our house is on fire let bees live let trees grow let the snow fall where it may not later but soon Thank you. We love seeing y'all sing along. And before I turn it over to Greg, let me just remind folks who are watching on Facebook, you are welcome to come join us in the Zoom room. There's a link at the top of your post. And please welcome Greg Greenway. And I'm unmuted. Yay. All right. Well, 
Wow. This is just uh, a lot to take, you know, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. It usually takes me like 9 o'clock or something to have this much <laughs> fun. I mean, this is great. Um, so, um, hey, 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 I had a friend who got to meet John Lewis, and um, John Lewis took him up to his, his office in the, in the Capitol building and showed him out his window. And out his window, he could see straight down the Capitol Mall to see the Lincoln Memorial. And if you know John Lewis's life, he came from little teeny Troy, Alabama. He heard Martin Luther King on the radio, as I understand it, and he decided he was going to be a member of the civil rights movement. So from that moment in his life, it was dedicated totally to the civil rights movement. And looking out his window to that moment in time in um, August of 1963, he was on the dais before, um, before I Have a Dream. And he was he was talked to before he went up to speak because he was told to tone it down because he was so angry at the treatment of the SNCC people in Mississippi and Alabama. And um, so he, he let the day belong to Martin Luther King. He let the headlines be, I have a dream. And I know that looking down that Capitol Mall, he must say to himself, there's a long way from there to here. And... Uh, from where we started out, from where I started out with the statues in Richmond, it's a long way from there to here, but we are so far away from where we need to be. So this is it's a mighty long way. And the first verse in particular is John Lewis looking out the window. Ooh, and it works like this. Oh, it's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. It's a mighty long way, mighty long way from there to here, there to here. We're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. You got it? All right, mm -hmm. let's do the chorus. It's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way, from over yonder, from over yonder. A mighty long way, it's a mighty long way, from there to here. We're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. Mm, what can a man see? Who outside his window, it's a whole lifetime from there to here. And all those people who gave their sweat and their blood so that he could make that walk from there to here. Oh, it's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. A mighty long way, a mighty long way from there to here. We're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time so that we can make that walk from there to here. Every child born is a revolution, is a revolution with a song inside. Some won't hear it, oh, some hear nothing else. He'll sing night and day just to keep that song alive. Oh, it's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. A mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from there to here, we're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. Now when you've got a dream, you got to stand up, stand up and shout it, shout it loud and clear. What's that I'm hearing? It's the voice of the people singing that we will make that walk from there to here. Oh, it's a mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. A mighty long way, a mighty long way from there to here. Now we're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. Oh, one last time, a mighty
mighty long way, it's a mighty long way from over yonder, from over yonder. A mighty long way, a mighty long way from there to here. We're gonna take it, oh yes, one step at a time, so that we can make that walk from there to here. So that we can make that walk from there to here. So that we can make that walk from there to here. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Let's bring our day up yeah. for you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's it's you know it's no wait until nine o'clock. You are on, you on fire, bro. You on fire right now, right now. And Emma's revolution brought the fire. They're talking about putting it out. They're bringing it. So what do we? What, what what can we do? What can we do? <laughs> Woo. Okay. Thank you so much. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, I'm bringing up a song that um, we learned last week. Uh, when the battle is won. It's a song that I wrote uh, on the night of November 3rd, 2020. It was the election night, and I had an event to do that next morning, and I knew people were going to be nervous, and I just wrote this song to keep us focused on no matter what the outcome, there's still a lot of work to be done. And there's a video that uh, my choir did of that. I'm very proud of it. Um, I'm hopeful that the link is in the chat. Y'all go check it out. Check it out and subscribe. It'll be good. So we're going to do When the Battle is Won. And I see the lyrics are up. It might look like a lot, but they do repeat. So follow the leader. Here we go. Well, it's not over. It's not over. The job is not done. The job is not done. It's not over. It's not over. The battle's not won. The battle's not won. So everybody stay calm. Stay calm. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay woke. Stay woke. Stay close. Stay close. Let's stay together as one. As one. Let's stay together in song. Song. Let's stay together till we see a new dawn. That's when the battle is won. Oh, that's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is won. Yeah. That's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is won. It's not over. It's not over. Well, the job is not done the job is not done it's not over over it's over not over, over, over. over the battle's not won the battle's not won everybody stay calm stay calm stay strong stay strong stay woke stay woke stay close stay close let's stay together as one as one let's stay together in song Song. Let's stay together till we see a new dawn. That's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is won. Yeah, that's when the battle is won. 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 Everybody stay calm. Stay calm. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay strong. Stay strong. Hold on. Hold on. Stay strong. Stay strong. Hold on. Hold on. Stay steady. Stay steady. Stay ready. Stay ready. Stay steady. Stay steady. Stay ready. Stay ready. Stay woke. Stay woke. Stay close. Stay close. Stay woke. Stay close. Stay close. Let's stay together as one. As one. Let's stay together in song. In song. Let's stay together till we see a new dawn. That's when the battle is won. Hey, that's when the battle is won. Yeah, that's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is won. That's when the 
the battle is. That's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is. That's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is. That's when the battle is won. That's when the battle is won. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love <laughs> especially that we got to hear your low, your super low note today. <laughs> when the battle is I get I get lucky some days. It's just, I, you know, it's in, in the mornings, that's when I record all my bass lines. Yeah, I, I right. really got it. I really got it. I can't yeah. wait to duet with Reggie. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arne. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So our spotlighting stuff is a little weird today, but that's okay. This is such a beautiful concert. We're so glad you all are joining us here in the Zoom room and on Facebook and folks who are going to be watching on YouTube later. We do invite anybody to come join in the Zoom room. Well, that anybody who's going to register and not be a fiend. Um, there haven't been that many <laughs> fiends, but on Halloween we can talk about fiends a little bit. So for folks who are watching on Facebook Live, uh, there is a link at the top of your post. You can come join us. There are also links in your chat here in Zoom and uh, in your comments there on Facebook where you can contribute to our fantastic artists um, who are in the concert today. Everything you contribute will be shared among the artists and we want to support these wonderful, talented, beautiful, fabulous friends of ours. Um, this is how we are all making our uh, living these days still in this unusual time. So in this time of um, hybrid music performances and, uh, and you know, still sort of slowly, carefully stepping out from behind this veil that we've been, uh, of the pandemic that we've been living behind, um, just, I just wanted to offer some words to um, help us in that, that process of you know, remembering that that those reserves of inner strength that some of us have have been working on fostering during this time. I know a lot of us have have had to work straight on through this, and um, we appreciate and acknowledge the the fact that there are a lot of folks out there that um, pretty much did their their regular routines through this whole time, um, and. Um, we understand the risk uh, that that they um, were underdoing that, and uh, so appreciate that. Um, but there, you know, all of us have had to sort of draw on that inner strength to get through these times, get through the grief of these times, and and all of the change and disruption that um, that this has caused. And you know, may we get to a to a point where. Um, where we can sing in person with one another, where we can safely go to our jobs and spend time with our loved ones and travel and do all those things, um, you know, and uh, get back to some level of, uh, of a normal life, whatever that is, but informed by this time that we've had. Um, so, <clears throat> so we're gonna do Wash Away Stone. This will be on our upcoming new recording, which is in the works right now as we speak, almost. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning and I open my eyes, I remember to be grateful skies and I wonder what I'm here for give me meaning I pray for this breath is in this body I've been given today and I listen to the wind as she whispers low I am always here you are not Gale will wash away stone. 
unsteady on my feet as I rise from my bed. I need a song to quiet all the noise in my head. Memories of heartache unresolved from the past. I'm ready to release them from my spirit at last. And I listen to the she whispers low I am always here You are not alone Hold firmly to your power You are blood and bone Water and a gale Will wash away stone May my heart be strengthened My purpose be clear they always remember the path that led here. Children of ancients, seeds of the soil, born of resistance, beauty and toil. And I listen to the wind as she whispers low. I am always here. You and I. so much we are going to pass it over to greg and then our nay greg's going to do a song and then our nay will close us out for this concert please welcome greg greenway this is a song for a world that would have us meet each other as strangers always Jericho Road Beneath the street lights Yellow orange glow The fear And the fallen go In the way A predator and prey No one spared Cause hate too great a way to bear in a cage of shadows we meet naked blooded in the street at the mercy at the feet of the way a predator
Do we stay on Jericho Road Forever going nowhere Till it is too great to wait to bear stadium erupts <clears throat> i want to be in the band on that one <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome anytime all right thanks so much greg take us out arne give us a song okay so i'm ending with a song that a lot of you know if i had a hammer protest song by pete seeger and lee hayes and i'm taking a risk here because i know i'm dealing with pete ha pete's direct lineage here <laughs> Uh, but I've often described this song as what would happen if Aretha Franklin and Pete Seeger had a baby. Well, actually, they did. It was me. <laughs> I came fully formed like this. And uh, join me in singing this song. It's an Aretha Pete mashup. And uh, let's have some fun. <laughs>
I could not love this more. Come on. Oh, my God. And <laughs> let the congregation say amen, amen. to that. A women, <laughs> A everybody. Let's bring Greg up here, too. Oh, my Come God. Come on. I want to be in the backup <laughs> band for that, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Please, ma- please let me sing backup. Best version, <laughs> says Janice. You know what? Here. There's room for every. There's room for soloists. So grab a verse. <laughs> Just grab a verse. Oh, oh, my gosh. Come on. That's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So this is that's extraordinary. Um, just so loved this afternoon time with you both, um, or night wherever you are. Um, anyway, I Where think are, it wherever be. you are in the world, <laughs> we want to give each of you a chance to just let folks know what you have coming up. Um, Greg, you want to tell folks what's what's happening for you? Uh, well, um, on the sixth, uh, that's next Saturday, I'll actually be doing a live show. Oh my God! Uh, in Rochester, New York, at uh, Cafe Veritas. So I'll be there. Uh, I have a um, a live streaming thing this Thursday. You can find that on my website. Not right now, but in another day. Uh, but I'll be doing a live stream concert on Thursday night. And um, the most significant thing, though, is um, in this pandemic, you know, you start thinking of things you need to do, and um, and talking face to face with my fans like we do now. I mean, we are we are in each other's living rooms, right? So I decided to make a CD of the songs that nobody's heard before that I wrote from the very beginning when I first arrived in Boston. Mm. Um, some of those, you know, have stayed in concert, but uh, I went back and it's called Songs from the Beginning and uh, it's going to be out probably in about a month and I'm very excited about that. So you can find all of that at greggreenway.com. That is so sweet. That's, That's great, awesome. Greg. Loving hearing that. Arne, what you got coming up with folks? Mm, well, you? I'm still on Tuesday nights. I've been keeping that Tuesday night. Actually, I'm going to be taking a break in a couple of weeks when you know Thanksgiving comes. Uh, but it's Tuesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're on the East Coast or anywhere else, take a disco nap and then come <laughs> hang out. Cause, cause we it's 2 o'clock. <laughs> okay, that's my, my computer talking. And then speaking of disco, I actually have a live concert um, that is going to be outside in a tent um, at this wonderful venue in Newport Beach. And the theme is higher consciousness, new thought, disco music. And wow. so I get to do <laughs> my Donna Summer, <laughs> I get to do <laughs> Heat Wave, uh, you know, all, you wow. know, uh, all those classics. So um, if you're this way uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, come hang out. All right. Oh, Always wow. a metronome at 180, right? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. 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 We we're going there. We are going. We're committed. <laughs> That's totally awesome. That's fantastic. Well, let us. Um, yeah, folks who want to join um, Arne's uh, choir and find out about Greg's upcoming events too. Uh, the chat has your the links there, and so does your Facebook post has the links there thanks to our fantastic team so let me take a second um and let you know what we've got coming up and yeah let's thank that team we want to thank toby moria marcy paula alice rada yes i got them all in one breath it's (laughs) like just weird brain i have pandemic brain slightly however we do have some stuff coming up wednesday we're going to be singing a song a daily antidote of song it's the archive week so we needed to look in the archives and find something and that's the library of congress archive I Folk Music comes. Archive. So we're doing that. And then next Sunday, we'll be back here with Greg teaching you a song uh, for the Learn a Song series. A um, couple other things we're doing. Actually, we're really excited about um, we're going to be doing a, a song or two as part of a lecture that is going to be given by um, through Cedar Lane Unitarian Universalist Church lecture by none other than Jamie Raskin, representative and awesome impeachment manager. So we are excited to be able to support him and and do that kind of thing. So the way we do these shows, we do ask you to make a contribution if it's something you can do and your contributions will be shared among these artists. And this is how artists are doing it in the hybrid world, still singing online too. And for folks who are watching on Facebook Live now, you're welcome to come to the Zoom room. We do a little bit of a hang uh, afterwards and we invite, if you've got something to say to our fabulous guests, please let's... Let's get all of the love to them first, and then we can have our hang afterwards as well. And also to our uh, audience for our seasonal toffee. Oh, yeah. That's coming up. Actually, Hanukkah is very early this year. It's in November, so uh, we will 
start. Uh, I will start making toffee. Um, I will start just in a couple of weeks. Toffee. Yeah. <laughs> really. And, um, really. <laughs> really. Yes. That's what we've we been, do in the holidays. We've been doing this. Well, you know, it used to the holidays. You know, we're political musicians primarily, so we have these dropouts in the in the season. We have a dropout right after a national election where we don't work for a while. If things go the way if, of yeah, if, go, go blue. If things, yeah, exactly. Um, and then um, then we have a dropout during the holidays. We haven't ever really put together a holiday show. Maybe some of you all work through because the holidays. Because peace is not really about what you know, <clears throat> I know it's weird. about. You'd Season think of peace, it was peace. compatible, but, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. So for the last, I think this might be 11 years, um, We I have this great toffee recipe that I've been making for like, uh, this is like 30 years or something. I've been making it seasonally. And I I started making it just because I love it. And then we started to set it to friends and they were like, wow, this is actually really good. And then we started to send it to supporters of our CD, you know, fundraise crowdfunding campaigns and things (laughs) like that, of which we will have another soon, very soon. Uh, We'll have that up since we have some more projects in the yeah. in the works here. And um, then people were like, you know, you really could, this could be a serious side hustle. And so it has become a serious hide, <laughs> side hustle for us, hide hustle for us during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what wow. we'll be doing. Plus we are finishing up two CDs, like Greg is finishing up a CD too. So stay tuned with all of yeah. these fantastic artists. I'm lots sorry, Greg, of, were you gonna say something news. for our name? Something no, I was just gonna say, I, I, I think I have an ointment for Hyde Sussels. <laughs> <laughs> and when you said side hustle, I thought, ooh, we're gonna dance to the hustle while we're making toffee this year. <laughs> you know, I was thinking that, but I'm also wondering, are you guys on Etsy? How do I find you? <laughs> oh, it's just gonna be through our website. It's through our website. Right, right. But that's an you. idea. Uh, we put, we made what we made like 150 pounds last <laughs> year. We went from making sort of we kind of plateaued at like 60 pounds a year, and then it you know we did this special reclaim orange <laughs> orange toffee last year, <laughs> and um, <laughs> which we we plan on actually adding in because it was very popular. Um, so we're gonna do that again this year. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you guys, you need to read up on the great molasses flood in Boston in the 1920s, I think it was. So we don't want, when you make 160 pounds of that stuff, we, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I do need to read up on that because I can't quite imagine a flood of molasses, but my oh, goodness. Oh, yes, it was very real, and actually people died in it. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my wow. It was that much molasses, yes. <laughs> wow. Well, yours could be a viral TikTok, you know, if you were yeah. trying to go there. We might. TikTok toffee. I like it. Uh. It works. So let us say goodbye to our friends on Facebook Live. Feel free to come join us on Zoom and say hello and goodbye to folks on YouTube or watching afterwards. Thanks for joining us for this fabulous concert. Come hang, y'all. Thank uh, you to Arne Batson and Greg Greenway for being our guests today.